So for the next type of imaging which we'll be looking at, this is what is known as what? The hysterosalpingography. Or you can say the hysterosalpingogram. Right? So for these two types of imaging, of course you can see this um, the uterus, the fallopian tube, the ovaries being was viewed on this image. Okay? So it's just a diagnostic x-ray procedure. It's used to evaluate uterus and the fallopian tubes. Especially if you are trying to what? Dictate the fertility of a woman. Do you understand? So, or maybe she's having miscarriages over, over, and over. So you want to actually check what's the problem. So it helps to determine whether the fallopian tubes are open and if the uterus has a normal shape. Do you understand? And size. You want to look at the uterus is there a problem now from this place they got to see that what this place is blocked do you understand they got to see that this place is a blocked fallopian tube so it helps to dictate all those problems in those organs around that place so how does it work first of all you can see this injection they are putting a contrast contrast the dye that will now make the image very clear like this okay so a contrast is gently injected into the uterus through the cervix. So as the dye flows through the uterus and the fallopian tubes, X-ray images known as fluoroscopy are taken because they want to track the movement of the dye. Here, they got to know that it's a blood fallopian tube because the dye wasn't able to go past this. Okay. So if the dye spills out of the ends of the fallopian tubes, they considered open. If not. Fallopian tubes are blocked. Okay. Why is it done? If I want to check if the woman is fertile, you know, or pick up a problem that is making the woman not being able to give birth, check for blocked fallopian tubes, uterine abnormalities, or scarring. Confirm success of tubal ligation or reversal. What to expect? Just know that it's less than five minutes and it's done in the first half of your menstrual cycle. So you lie on a table, a speculum is inserted, followed by a catheter, so that they deliver the dye, you know. It's not the injection directly put in. The in injection was put into the catheter, it's the catheter that went in. You get it, alright? So beautiful. So you may feel cramping during the dye injection, especially if your tubes are blocked. So after care and rakes, it's mild cramping, spotting, nausea, alright? Rare risks include infections, allergic reactions to the dye. You know. Most people can resume normal activities same day.